distilled water has a pH of 7. It's neither alkali nor acid. So it will hurt you. So water has to be what? Spring. What is the advantage of spring water? It has all of the minerals. Scientists have recorded how many? A hundred and two. But let me tell you all something about that hundred and two scale. I went to Africa, to Guinea. And I went to a village named Fulamori. Fulamori is dry. Dry, dry, dry like the desert. But I was taken to Fulamori because I told the president of Guinea that Guinea had thermal waters. And everybody told me no, including him, the president. I say, Mr. Sarko, I'm very sorry. But I know that Guinea has thermal water. They say, I am the president. And I'm from Guinea. You came from California. You don't know what's in, in... Sir, Guinea has thermal waters. How do you know? I said, when I got off the plane in Conakry, I saw some red rocks. Red rocks does not appear unless there's volcanic activity. And where there's volcanic activity, there's water. There's hot water. So he said, I asked, who were the people in Guinea before, say, the French? They sent to the archive, the, uh, the uh, what you call the uh, Department of what? Uh, no. Geology. No water. The president said, you see, there's no water. There's no hot water in Guinea. I say, Mr. Sacco, who was here before the French? The Belgians. I say, could I go? Or could you send someone to investigate? My wife and I was out in the street. We came home late that evening. We came home to find the president doing this. In his yard. He's walking to and fro. But he had this paper in his arm. So when I came in the gate, I could see him walking to and fro. When I came in the gate, he said, Dr. Sebi, they found the thermal waters in Fulamori. I felt so bad. I felt really let down. Because why should I have to leave California to go to Guinea to tell them of something that they had and they didn't know? Something wrong with that. Anyway, they arranged a caravan, and they took me to Fulamori with her. This woman is crazy. You can look at her head and tell she's crazy. <laughs> when she got to Fulamori, she saw where it was green and water is flowing, and it's so nice, you know, thermal water brings madness out of you. She took all her clothes off in front of Five Muslim men. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Her and another African woman got completely natural naked, as you all call it, and jumped in the water. We begin to drink the water. When I took the cup and started drinking the water, Dr. Fadiga, Dr. Diaby, and Dr. Camera, these are doctors from Guinea. Very humble brothers. They screamed out, Dr. Sebi, what are you doing? I said, I'm drinking water. When the secretary to the president heard that I was drinking the water at Fulamori, he said, you tell Dr. Sebi to fill a five-gallon can and bring to me. Nobody would go around that water. This is in Fulamori. Listen carefully. Fulamori. This is in Guinea. When I got there, the guide asked me, how do you know these waters were here? I say, rocks at the airport. Rocks talk? I say, yes, they have tongue. If you know how to interpret their language. He said, well, yes, the water is here. We're just surprised that you know. 
I see I saw these rocks. You see, I didn't go to school. I read nature. I don't read books. So when we came back from the waters, you know, we drank the water, we bathed in it, we ate the plant that was growing in it, which is the blue vervain was growing in it, and also other plants that we recognize. Did you know that in the reports that the Belgian people had made on these waters at Fulamori, they stated that the waters in Fulamori had these very strange minerals that was unrecorded. This is why the people in Guinea, when they go around Fulamori, by where the thermal water is at, the water would give off these fires, flame at night. Well, sure, they loaded with electricity. When I start drinking it, then everybody want to drink. But prior to that, nobody went there, not even close. Because there is nobody in the world that is as spooky as an African. <laughs> an African believe in ghosts. He believe in voodoo. He believe in witchcraft. He believe in all the nonsense that doesn't help. But they eat cassava. They call it gari in Nigeria. So, an old man came to Matun and said, Matun, my grandfather told me that one day a man would come to Guinea and teach them the use of these waters. And your husband, Dr. Sebi, we suspect is that person. So you will be back. Listen carefully. In Fulamori, they have to dig down in a well to get water, but well water is dangerous because it has too much calcium in it. It would clog your kidneys. Your kidneys become a filter instead of the soil. You have to drink water on top of the soil. Nature has filtered it, now you drink it. But if you go down, it's dangerous. But here in Fulamori, just eight kilometers out of the village, there is these waters. And there's plenty of it, but they're scared. They're full of fear. So when the president saw that I knew something about thermal waters, and he saw this. This is very important. He saw this and he asked me, could you come and build one? This is the village that you heard of in Honduras. This village was built by a man that has never been to school, doesn't know how to read nor write today. His name is Chilo. He still works with me. He built this village with me. When the president saw this, he said, could you build a healing village like this in Guinea? I said, yes. He said, well, you have all the land and you have all the thermal waters. But I haven't been able to go back because I had to repair this. This was damaged. I had to change the roof and the ceilings, new bathrooms. I had to sidewalk because you American brothers and sisters, you all are used to a certain level of convenience. And I didn't want to take into the jungle where there's scorpions and, ah, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I provided you with an environment that would be, you know, pleasing. So yes, waters are important. Africa has a lot of thermal waters, but they don't drink it because they're scared. But water has to be natural. It has to be consumed the way nature afforded to you. Distilled water has the intervention of a man, you know, like a church. You can't go to heaven unless you go to a preacher. And you have to gain some money because God needs money. You see, God is not satisfied unless you give up some coins.